captivity. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to prove is that Esau, he's a bastard. He don't have a. He don't. He don't. He can't deal with chastity. All right. As the as the elect are. Okay. Go ahead and read it. That one again. Yeah, can you read? It? Yeah. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Rever yeah, reverence. See. As I used that analogy earlier, the Bible uses the same thing. You know? Go ahead. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of Spirits and live? See? How much we should be more uh, subjected unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and live? Why are you going to follow a man that's destined to, for destruction? That has, that, that's considered a vagabond. A murderer that's fleeing uh, judgment right now, man. That's what Cain is. Cain was marked and he was labeled a vagabond and uh, what was the other word? A vagabond is somebody that don't have a, a, a home, that's wandering from a different place to place, right? But he was also labeled a, uh, hang slip my mind. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Right, we gave them reverence, meaning that we honored them, we respected them, you know, to a certain, you know, to the most up of degree, you know. But Esau, he's despised all that, man. Keep reading. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Uh -huh. For they verily, for a few days, chastened at us after their own pleasure but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness that's right be partakers of his holiness man go from there or uh, is that it yeah. okay go from there to Acts chapter 14 go to Acts chapter 14 We want to be partakers of his glory, you know, so we have to endure that chastening. Acts 14 and 22. And the word I was looking for is a uh, fugitive and, and a vagabond. All right, a fugitive is who? Somebody that's fleeing judgment. So that's what Cain, that's what Esau is, is right now. You know, he's fleeing judgment. But the Most High is going to uh, uh, recompense them. He's going to pay him back. He hasn't forgotten. All right. Acts 14, 22, confirming the souls of the disciples. That's right, confirming the souls of the disciples. Everybody out here thinks that they're a son of God or they're a Christian. Really, they don't even know where the word Christian comes from. It's, it was used as a derogatory term to label the followers of Yahweh Shai. All right? Which, uh, we're not Christians. We're, because the word Christian comes back goes back to the word, uh, the man that lived was uh, Serapis Christos. All right? And that's Greek. All right? We are um, all like mas little messiahs, man, compared to Yahweh Shah. We're anointed. We're in, because that's what the word messiah means. Mashiach means anointed. So we're we're as anointed, anointed ones as well. Why? Because we have the Holy Spirit. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So we have to confirm this amongst the Akim that we have to endure chastening and not be like Esau, that despised the birthright and couldn't endure the, uh, the the thing that he was going through, you know. But now he's considered a bastard. He don't have a father. No? Go ahead. And exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. Through much tribulation, we have to endure it. We have to go through that to, in, to inherit the kingdom of the Most High, man. See? So it all ties in. But this man that's set up on high, Esau, he's not, he's not that. He don't consider that. You know? Though it was all set up through the spirit for him, he was programmed to not do that. But it's just you got to look at that. You got to look at him, and you got to look at how the uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is needing you to be. Or you want to be like this man, because the Most High is equal. You know, if you don't want to get right, you're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna be rebuked. You're gonna be told that you're gonna be destroyed. All right. Uh, we have to exhort them to 
exhort them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation, you know, inherit the kingdom of the most high. <clears throat> so you can go back to Isaiah 14 and we'll uh, go there. <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> second, second Thessalonians chapter 1 uh, verse 6 <clears throat> seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high <coughs> to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us and that's what we're trying to let the Akim you know not only the Akim the brotherhood but also those that are, are uh, can let this truth resonate with them they accept it is that you rest with us because the words of the, of, of the Lord are comfort, is the comfort of the Holy Spirit because this place is going to be destroyed man and, 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 this, and when you're going through all your things throughout your daily life, working, whatever it is that you're going through, paying child support, or you, you know, you get dealing with things at home with your woman or whatever it is, this is this is our 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 our, uh, our vent, our, our our way of venting, man. You know, and, and hastening the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, praying unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that we need deliverance, man. So you come rest with us because the Most High is about to recompense those that troubled the earth and that troubled him and his people. It says, and flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shaham Mashiach. You see, so if you don't know the true the true names of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, you're going to be destroyed. Nor if you didn't want to consider it, you want to play that ignorant card, or you wanted to be like, oh well, I was better off not knowing it. You're still going to be judged, man. You know, there's no escaping. It says, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction? from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day. And that day could be the day. You, you could ultimately be sealed today, man, and, and escape the said perils that are about to come upon this place. All right, go ahead. Yeah, you can start right there. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Right, now you're talking about an angel that's in the heavens with the Lord being cast down to the earth into physical form. It's talking about a man that's of high st stature, a, a ruler, because this is his heaven. This is his heaven. This is his kingdom of heaven. This is his kingdom. All right? So he's, he's brought low. He's being brought low to the earth. All right, through his economy, his, his rulership, everything is, is crumbling. All right, so the word Lucifer goes back to the word uh, loose, like loose in Spanish is light, and then the, I forget the pre the suffix, but it's a bearer. You, you, you bear light, which represents wisdom. You're a bearer of light. I think you got the Statue of Liberty, you got that woman, you know, that represents wisdom, you know. So that's who it's talking about a man that has certain types of wisdom. All right, go ahead. How art thou cut down to the ground, which made weak the nations? See? And we, we verified that the Lord is going to cut you down. He's the one that's cutting you down ultimately, you know, and Obadiah. Why? Because you're a proud. You're arrogant. You're at opposition against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Well, thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. And I will also sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. See, and that, that side of the north is talking about America, man. All right? So he's exalted himself, as, as it said in Obadiah, above the, the star. He set up his nest above the stars. All right? He's up on high. He, he even says that he is as God, man. He is the most high. That's what he says. That's how proud this man is, man. And he's weakened the nations. Through what? His philosophy, his lies, his doctrines chemical that he produces, you know, these, these artificial uh, synthetic uh, 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 chemicals and things of that nature that he, he creates. Go ahead. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. See, he said he's going to be like the most high, man. You got to be a proud individual to say that you're God. That's, that's like, I don't even know the word for it, man. But it's evil. You know, he don't even put. The Lord says that he looks that men are as worms, man. All men are as worms. 
Hey. Go ahead. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. To See, the it said that word, that word hell is talking about the earth, the ground. He's going to be brought down to it, man. Humble. He's going to be humble. You know, it could be multifold, but he's going to be brought down all the way down, man. You know? Go ahead. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? See, so that cuts that whole that Lucifer that's in heaven and he's fighting against Yahweh Shah or Yahweh in the heavens. And he has his two his two third of the his third of the angels or whatever it is, and they're just going fighting each other in the, in the spiritual realm. That all around us is fighting each other. Alright? It's, it's an actual man. Alright? That, that that I was referring to okay that we're gonna narrowly look upon him but like this was him and that's part of that discovery lifting up her skirt that Yahweh Shai has done is that we're letting you know who it is it's the so called white man Esau alright it's just hard for people to understand and grasp that because in, it's, in, it's in the nature of, of, of Israelites to have mercy and compassion but it's not about us it's about what's been written the Lord he hates Esau man no matter how much you try to find good in him, the Most High still hates him. You cannot change what's been written, man. He tells you that in Malachi. Before you get that, let me read it real quick. This is uh, in the book of Malachi. All right. Malachi, cha Malachi chapter 1, verse 1. It says, the burden, of the, Lord, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet you say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith Yahweh, yet I love Jacob and hated Esau. You see? Because you're going to have individuals saying, was not, Jacob, was not Esau Jacob's brother too? But it don't matter what you feel, what you think. It's about what's written. But the most I know, he knows what's right and what's, what's good. And Esau is not good. He's evil. Alright? He's a very evil individual. It says... I have hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. The word impoverished means made poor. Because he's the original caveman. He's the one that was brought low and was casted out, out of paradise, what? right? In the Garden of Eden. So he was left out to defend himself. Because with all wisdom was given unto uh, his, uh, uh, Jacob, starting with uh, Ab uh, Adam. Abel, and then Abel was taken away into Seth and to uh, uh, Shem, all right, and then Noah or uh, Shem, and then Moses, and, you know, so forth and so on. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right. So it said, Whereas Edom says, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. See, it's like I was reading 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. The Most High is going to destroy all those that don't know the Father or His Son, Yahweh Bashem or Yahweh Shai. Alright? It says, And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, The Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. So, this is the way everything's been set up. Everything has been written in the Scriptures. Now. Like that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners all the kings of the nations even all of them lie in glory even one is his own house right so he didn't open up the houses the prison the, the, the doors of the prison he didn't open the door open up the house of his prisoners Right, so you know you don't you don't. It's like during the time of Pharaoh, what was Moses telling him? Let 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 the most high's people go. He didn't want to let them go, man. You know, we we we're brought here. This is a prison house right here, man, in America. Whether you want to believe it or not, this is a big prison house, and this is Esau's playground. Though you got two thirds, like I said, they follow after that same spirit of Esau, man, and they they're gonna be destroyed for it. All right, it's like in the time when they were took taken out of Egypt. In the, in the uh, wilderness, they were out there for 40 years, man, going in circles. You had some that were bullshit, playing around, not taking nothing serious, complaining, bitching. But what happened? Those, those, those were weed, weeded out, man. They were killed. They were put to death because of, the, because of that attitude. 
it's gonna happen in this time too. Because right now it's just been a wilderness. It's just been going in a, in a vicious cycle. But now Yahweh Shai is putting a stop to it. Come soon. That deliverance is gonna come, man. Go ahead, read that once, that verse again, please. Isaiah 14, chapter 18. All the kings of the nations. Oh, 17. Yeah. That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened up the house of his prisoners. So he destroyed cities? He'll, he'll, he'll take a man's heritage, like it says in uh, uh, I think it's Micah chapter, chapter 2. Yeah. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. And this man works evil upon his bed, man. And he devises iniquity. He's, he can't wait to commit sin and break the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. He loves doing wickedness. He loves doing evil. All right? But it says, When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. See, and who, who, who has the scepter right now? Esau. It's in the power of his hand to do what is right and wrong. So he decides, it's programming him to do what is wrong. All right? They covet fields and take them by violence. Did, now they take, did, did they not take the land of America by violence? Are they not going over there to the Middle East fucking with those people through violence? Coming in the name of peace, but saying, you know, they're against terrorism and terrorists, but they're being terrorists in their own damn selves, man, because they're killing people they don't even deserve to be messed with. They're killing civilians. So this man is, 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 is off, man. It says they covet fields and they take them by violence in houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man and his heritage. All right. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for the time is evil. This is the spirit. The spirit makes every all these scriptures tie into one each other, man. You are not gonna devise, you're not gonna get yourself out of this, out of the grip of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because he's he's found you out. Your time is, is now, you're gonna be you're gonna be judged. Alright? But they take things by violence, they oppress a man in his heritage. Alright? They covet houses. They do that everywhere, man. They, they'll see something that Jake got and they want it. But they'll go and take it. They'll kill him just to, to have it. Or a Jake come up with an invention and they'll they'll put a patent on it before though it's his invention, they'll take the idea and put a patent on it and say, Oh no, I created it. It's it's all through history. You got a lot of inventions that are the uh, that's here in America, such as the television, the, the AC, that it was a, a Jake that created it, man. But they don't tell you that. All the kings of the nations, even all of them that lie in glory, even one in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave, like an abominable branch. Like an abominable branch that's been wetted, being, uh, that's, uh, waiting to be used to cast into the fire, man. Go ahead. And as the remnant of those that are slain thrust through the sword, that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden under feet. Trodden under foot, man. So those that are left are gonna be destroyed. They're gonna be trodden under our foot, man. You wicked people, you two-thirds. You're gonna be thrust through because the Bible tells you that Israel is gonna be made into a threshing instrument. What is a threshing instrument? As, as, as a something that pierces you like a sword, man. Whenever the elect get receive that spiritual power, we're gonna be deadly on the earth, man. We're gonna be uh, 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 as 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 terrorists to you, you know, as monsters in your eye. That's what they used to call Yahweh in the old time, Allah Shadia, man, a demon-like power, the God Almighty, because that's how he, he was looked at in the eyes of the nations, man. His name was fearful among the nations. When they mentioned his name, they were afraid. The Philistines, when they when they captured the uh, the Ark of the Covenant, man, they received hell, man. They were getting plagued. 
they, they cried out to, for them for the Israelites to come back and take the Ark of the Covenant out. And when it was being brought out, one of their, his own people touched it and was put to death. He died on the spot for touching it. Because they had to have rod. They couldn't touch the Ark of the Covenant. They had to have, carry it upon their shoulders, man. That's how holy it was. But the Philistines, they tried to steal it. And they, they, they're like, man, get it out of here, man. It's killing us off. You know? Because it didn't belong to them. You know? That's another way on how to find out with the, uh, you know, uh, certain people to test the spirits. This, this word won't resonate with you. He says they're going to make you or break you. You know? You can know who, who's a two-third and the Edomite. Just by speaking in one verse, you can find out quick. Oh, there's something wrong with him. You don't believe. You know? Because Esau, he's, he's, a, he's a, uh, the father of disbelief. All right? He's the one that, that he don't have no faith. He's faithless, man. Go ahead up. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. So he's not going to have a, an a honorable a burial, man. You know? He's going to be left out there. Just like Jezebel. When Jezebel was wreaking havoc on, on, the, uh, on the men of the Lord when, during the time of Elisha and Eli Elijah and Elisha, right? And it was prophesied that she was going to be destroyed by Jehu, if I'm saying the, the brother's name right, the king of, uh, of Judah, or Israel. He, he uh, commanded her to be cast out the window and, 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 and burst on the ground, and dogs came and ate her up. And nobody messed with it, left her bones there at all. Just She, she received a, a dishonorable death, man. You know? That's how it's, that's how it's going to be for this great whore America, man. And the ultimate Esau, the so-called white man. Go ahead. Because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people, the seed of evildoers shall never be re renowned. Not gonna be renowned. Right now, it's lifted up in great, you know, in greatness, wickedness, folly is set in great dignity here in America. Ecclesiastes tells us that folly is set in great dignity, but it's gonna come to a point where that's not gonna save you no more. It's not gonna be lifted up. We're lifting up the standard, the banner of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai now. This is what this is what's now. This is the new thing is to come, man. The glorification of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The truth. Everybody says they want the truth. Well, guess what? This is the truth. Where are you at? Where are you people at? You know? Go ahead. Prepare slaughter for his children. That's right. Prepare slaughter for his children, man. Whose children? Esau. I thought the Bible was all love. What happened? Do we have to bring out scriptures from the old, the New Testament to show that that the, the Lord don't talk about killing people too? Go ahead. For the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. That's right. So he ain't never gonna uh, 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 rule again, man. Once this man is brought down by the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh that's it. His time is over. All right. So we're preparing slaughter for his children, man. All right, go ahead. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, and the son and nephew, saith Yahweh. So Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is the one that's sanctioning this thing, man. It's not us, not because we 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 have like we we have a problem with Esau, but it's not personal like that. It's Yahweh Shah is the one that has a problem, but guess what? We're going to follow after that spirit. You know? We ain't forgotten what's happened. We may have experienced certain things dealing with the Edomite too. How they, you saw how they treated you. You know? Hey, that, that, that's just to, to verify that you should increase your hate and your anger towards that. But not to go all out and act unrighteous, but to verify and know your enemy. Because the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy, man. And to be circumspect. Harmless as a dove, but wise as a serpent. Because Esau is the main serpent, right? He said that that's how he came whenever in the Garden of Eden, he came as a serpent. Huh? So guess what? The Lord commands the, the, the men of the Lord to be as wise, wise as a serpent. Go ahead. I think that should be it on there, but go ahead. I will also make it a possession for the bitter, bitter, bitter. It's a pools of water, and I will sweep it with So it's like a sweeping, uh, a sweep, like a brush, like a broom. 
And I will sweep it with the beast on of destruction. That's right. So the Lord saved your house. Yeah, so he's gonna sweep. He's gonna clean house. You know, it's gonna be a vicious sweep. You know, he said the Lord is in is in the whirlwind. You know, he's in a he's in a clean house, man. All right. Uh, from there, go to Job fourteen and five. Job fourteen and five. Job fourteen and five. Oh, that you would altogether hold your peace, and it should be your wisdom. Job 14, 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his, his bounds that he cannot pass. See? Esau can only, he's only granted so much, you know, time and, 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 and uh, uh, certain things that he can achieve. So the Lord has, has, has is, is putting it to a stop now. Because the prophets are out. Once the, pro men, once the Most High sends out his prophet, that's a sign to the people that something bad is coming. It was never something good when you read the Bible. When the prophets were sent out, it was always, the majority of the time, it was something bad to come. It was a, it was a, 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 a message from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that was to be spoken to the people. Okay? It tells you that in Jeremiah 28 and 8. Alright? But his, his time has been what again? His days are determined. Right, his days are his days are determined, man. Alright, go ahead. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Right, the number of his months are with who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They know. And, and, and but through the spirit, we're seeing the signs and we know that his time is short. The time is coming to an end. All right, go ahead. That thou appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as in piling his day. All right, that's it. Uh, see. I got this man number, man. It's like when you read the book of Daniel, when the hand came out of nowhere and started writing, uh, was writing a message on the wall. They had to summon Daniel to interpret it to uh, Be uh, Belshazzar, which was uh, Neb uh, Nebuchadnezzar's son, right before the uh, the Median Persian Empire came and destroyed the Babylonians, which really, I mean, they were the Assyrians but under Babylon, right? And uh, it said that the writing was on the wall, man, that his time, everything had been weighed in the balance, meaning that his time was up. So, this man's time is up. So, we're going to read. Go ahead up. Yes, uh, verse 35. Or you can start at verse 34. I'm going back to the verse, Ezra's 
chapter 4, verse 34. And he answered me, saying, Do not thou hasten above the highest, the most highest, for thy haste is in vain to be above him, for thou hast not <coughs> has much exceeded. Yeah, for thou hast much exceeded. Because uh, Ezra was, was concerned for his people, man. But the angel Uriel asked him, you know, do you love this, uh, uh, Israel more than the Most High? Because he was trying to uh, go to certain levels of understanding that he wasn't uh, built to receive yet. That everything had to come in its proper time, in, its, in the process of time. Even when a brother comes into this truth, it's the same thing. Everything has its own time. You read uh, Ecclesiastes, it tells you about there's a season and a purpose under heaven. There's a time for everything. Right, there's a time to love, there's a time to hate. There's a time for peace and a time for war. All right, but now we're coming into those steps, man. We're in a time of hate and we're in a time of war. All right. So uh, the angel was telling him that he 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 uh, uh, hasted greatly above his own measure. But he's gonna go into. Uh, go ahead. And not the souls, also of the righteous, ask questions of these things in their chambers, saying, "How long shall I hope?" this fashion right and that's what we're all doing us Aki. especially when you, when, you, when you grow in this truth you start understanding you'll start uh praying and, and uh you know asking y'all watch me i will shot for certain things hastening in the day you know but you have to go from certain levels you know so go ahead when it cometh the fruit of the floor of our reward uh -huh. and unto these things Uriel the archangel gave them answer and said even with the numbers of seeds is filled in you for he hath weighed the world in the balance. All right so Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai he weighs, he weighs things out. All right we can't make the prophecies come any quicker because we, we uh, pray harder or we make more videos it's all destined by Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai's time. That's it. You know no matter the amount of questions you ask the amount of answers you're given that's not going to speed things up you do your you do your do your part and in the process of time Yahweh Shai is going to reveal things but, and, and things that we're getting closer to the future we're getting that much closer to the end of Esau's kingdom all right go ahead by measure hath he measured the times and by number hath he numbered the times see so he does everything by measure because in the scriptures it says uh, that an unjust balance is an abomination to the Lord. Everything has to be in an equal value.